Okay, today we're going to learn how to make a 3D film strip using Illustrator's 3D classic features. Effects, I should say. Okay, so here's our final result. If we use our appearance panel, you can see we can rotate this any way we want. So let's see uh, how I did this. So let's go back to artboard number one here. So what I did was I scanned an actual piece of 35 millimeter film in order to get everything the right size. So here's my scans. Uh, now, this is just a rectangle. Now, the width of the rectangle is 35 millimeter. So 35 millimeter film is 35 millimeters wide. Uh, so let's put the sprocket holes in. So this, I just traced the sprocket holes from my scan here. Uh, now, how far apart are they? Illustrator has this nice measure tool which is usually hiding under the eyedropper here. So let's measure this distance. So let's zoom in. So we want to know the distance from the beginning of one sprocket hole to the beginning of the next sprocket hole. So let's hold down the shift key so we don't wander up and down. Okay, there we go. So now if you look in the info panel, we got 4.7, let's say 4.75 millimeters. Now you don't even have to remember that because Illustrator will remember it for you. So I made these sprocket holes down here just by using the rounded rectangle tool. So let's uh, select them and then repeat them. Hold down the shift. Uh, now we're going to use the, the move uh, transform. Uh, the easiest way to get there is just to double click the regular selection tool. And now you can see Illustrator actually put in that measurement for me. Uh, so we're going to copy. There we go. Uh, let's zoom out. So now how many do we need? We'll just keep doing Control or Command D to transform again till we fill up this strip here. So now we have to make holes over here. So I already have my Pathfinder tool ready here. So let's select the strip. So let's select everything minus front. Okay, so now we got a strip with holes in it. Now these images, these are also the correct size. So these are uh, in millimeters, they're 36 millimeters wide by 24 millimeters tall. So that's about the right size for a 35 millimeter frame. Okay, so now let's line these up. So just select them all. Uh, I have my align panel here, came out with my pathfinder. So let's Let's center them with each other. And now the space in between. So again, I use my measure tool up here on this strip from my scan here to find out what the space in between the images are. So I believe this comes out to be about 1.7 millimeters. Let's see. So if you look in the uh, info panel down there, uh, you see the distance, well, about 1.7 millimeters, close enough. So let's select them all. Now with my align tool, in order to set the spacing here, we have to select one of them as our key object. It doesn't matter which one. So I just select this one. Now 1.7 millimeters, that was there from the last time. That is the correct measurement. So now when we click this icon here, uh, we'll have exactly 1.7 millimeters in between each of these images. Okay, there we go. So now what we have to do is we're gonna make a clipping path. First of all, let's grab these guys. We'll group them to make it easier to work with. Uh, drag these on top of my strip here. Again, we could use our line tool to help us out. So just select these guys and click the center. I'm uh, aligning them to each other. Okay, looks like I got it. Now we're gonna make a clipping mask. Uh, so we have to bring the strip to the front. So I'll do Control, Shift, Right Bracket, or Command, Shift, Right Bracket on the Mac. So those are the two bracket keys next to the letter P. Or you can use the Arrange command. So now let's select these pieces here. Right click and say, make clipping mask. Don't worry about that, just say yes. So you now you see what happened, we lost the color in our film strip. Uh, but we can go into isolation mode, I'll just double click. 
on the group. Now we're in isolation. When I roll over my mouse here, there we go. So there's the strip. And we'll just make the fill black over here. So we can select black here. So maybe I'll move this a little bit over, get that flower completely in. It looks a little bit better. Let's center these top to bottom. Okay, it did lose it a pinch, but now we're good. Get out of isolation, just double click in an empty area. So now what we need to do is we need to make this a symbol in order to map it to our 3D artwork. So we can just select it and we can just hit the F8 key or we can open up the, the symbols panel if you like and just drag it in. But I'm just gonna hit F8. We'll call it, I'm gonna call it new strip because I think I have one from already made, but so, so we'll use our new one. This, these settings don't matter, we'll just say okay. Let's go to our symbol panel. So here's the one that we just made right now, new strip. Now watch the next part to see how we map our new artwork to a 3D object.